Welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 4. Today we're continuing our Let's Play. This is episode 52. In today's episode, we are taking a look at the Mazda Speed 4 cylinder showcase. For that, we need a Mazda Speed car with a 4 cylinder. Not a lot of choice here. Basically, it's MX5s or the 2001 Mazda Mazda Speed Familia, like we're using. Which I'm going to change the color of because I use this car in Forza 3. But I'm going to cover it up. So you'll never know. We're going fast now. We're going a whopping 65 miles Oh, hey, discount in Pratza. We'll paint it orange. Because why not? <laughs> I wonder if this thing has body kits. Better. I like the Mazda Speed Familiar. We got it as the 323 wagon. Oh, God, it's got... Oh, never mind. It's Cork Sport, not Cock Sport. Oh, God, you can make it look like a Vauxhall. Bro, oh, there is like no traffic coming this way. I don't know, we'll come back to that. I'll decide what I want on the rest of the car. Oh, I want that scared. wing. It kind of does look a bit like an Astra now that I look. Oh god. I didn't realise it kind of looks like an Astra, and now I do realise it kind of looks like an Astra. Ah, oh, dude, carbon fibre hood. Oh, Jesus, no. Hills. <laughs> Hills. Hills. I kind of want to go with the old Vauxhall body kit on it. And you can really drive swap it, apparently. Ooh, that is a point. I do have. Oh my do God, I have Master Affinity? Yeah, I do. LTD. <laughs> There is some bad things going on on your end. <laughs> how, how, how's the trucking? Trucking. A jeep. <laughs> I'll, I'll shoot you the traffic mod eventually. So you can see gremlins. There we go, 213 horsepower, 156 foot pound of torque, because VTEC isn't exclusive to Hondas. Nope, that's Just put too the cruise far control out. on, that'd be easier. Oh yeah, that is some ground effect shit right there. Anyways. That Mazda doesn't exist in Canada because of rust. Apparently, Thunder's dad used to have one. Oh hey, there's an orange one in the picture, even though this car doesn't go the Mazda 3? Uh, Mazda Familia. Mazda 4 cylinder showcase. Though Mazda is best known for their rotary technology, this vent proves that their 4 cylinder models can zoom zoom too. Ah, I get it. Silstone National Circuit is first. I get it. I get it. I get it. I it, think I understand now. It was Mazda's motto back then. Slogan. Is it still their motto? Slogan? No. Don't think so. What is their slogan model now? I don't know, it's probably something like... Daddy's we didn't cheat. Bitches. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> I want that now. <laughs> yeah, but they don't so... actually know what it means because they just like... <laughs> just... I can imagine Ford doing it totally sincerely. Oh, yeah. No, GMC. That seems like a GMC thing right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, I love the aftermarket head unit. Maybe that's the slogan for where they bring back the Cyclone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but... If they brought back the Cyclone now, actually, what would it be? They just get the, the Corvette. No, you know the... What's the um... smallest GM SUV? Tracks. Oh, God. The police name. Oh, no. you know that wouldn't surprise me if they did, like, a sporty version of the Trax. No, you remember when... I'm pretty sure they did have the RS. They, they used a, uh, what was it, a uh, Malou. Mm. Or whatever, as a test bed for it. They just bring back that back. But, like, put it into production. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, Scotian, you've got a gift, apparently. Oh. Motor Week dropped a video on the Colt Vista 4x4 recently. Hell yeah. The fucking Colt Vista wagon. I wonder if that one's still for sale on like Car and Classic, that's like 14 grand because it's got 90 miles on it or something. 
because someone decided to buy a Colt Vista wagon and put it in a garage forever. Because they knew Radwood would be a thing one day, I guess. I feel I'd fit in at Radwood. Because it's just a bunch of hipsters talking about obscure shit. Then again, I guess I had to be in Vaporwave as well, wouldn't I? Mind you, I like some of the Vaporwave music, I think. <laughs> I think. Do you know what Vaporwave is? Yeah, it's the pink and blue shit, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, with the Kuntash. Yeah. And uh, the Tessa Tosser. And like Mazda like RX-7s and stuff like that. Let's be honest, Vaporwave these days is just like a catch-all term for anything that's the 80s. Well, liked by hipsters at this point. Hills! Hill, hill, hills are not 80s. Hills are very much a cross-plan thing. The Opal Mocker. That's a track, it's not a Buick Encore, but it pretty much is. I know the Mocker all too well. It's sure as shit is a car. Oh, I'd love a Cyclone version of that, though. Yeah, but they'd, like, pussy out and make it, like, only do, like, 300 horsepower. So that still sounds like fun. I wonder if they'd bring the Cyclone back as, like, some electric, like, Cybertruck. Thing. Holy shit, 75 that, mile an hour. You, you know, that would be amazing if nothing else, just so they can brag about 0 to 60 times. Yeah, they, like, do a Silverado, but it has, like, 1100 horsepower or something. Yeah, and it's all electric, so there's 0 to 60 and like 2.1 or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Faster, please. It's all drag slicks. What's this? Well, actually, no, because it'd be like Colorado then, or something. Just whatever. The electric smallest. Dodge Demon. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they went with that. I'm sorry, I I, I've just got the instant fucking marked. I I've now got the idea for it. It's going to be hybrid. Because Dodge's Dodge, it's going to have like a video of like I don't know. Magnum. George Was. It's going to have the George Washington advert, but like in one of the other challenges, it's going to be like um, oh, fucking hell, like Elon Nikolai Musk. Tesla. <laughs> oh yeah, the oh that'd be. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd love that. Yes. And they're going to do it, and then like the tagline for it's going to be like Dodge Demon Hybrid. It's a hybrid, but it ain't for queers. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Hawking's there with his wheelchair, this but it's got like a V8 car. attached to it. <laughs> we are proud to be Americans, but we will not be re overridden by the Prius. <laughs> Do you remember that time they were going to make an electric car dodge? No. They stole the Lotus Europa. And put like electric motors in it. Oh yeah, that thing. And called it Dodge something or other. Can't remember the name of it. Yeah, I can see now that name wouldn't catch on. Something or a fuck off. <laughs> I like how Dodge is so uninventive they can never like use more than five names at once. Like they've had like two concept vehicles called the Copperhead at this point. <laughs> One was a Viper with a V6, the other was a bike with a Viper engine attached to it. <laughs> Those are two opposite things. I think that Jay Leno bought one of them in the end. <laughs> you know, but that sort of seems like one of those bikes where, like, sort of Jay Leno would stay in one place and the bike would sort of fly off on its <laughs> own to a completely other place. <laughs> Ejecto de denim, cuz. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see the Copperhead bike, by the way? The oh yeah, I know, I know the bike. It's just an about. engine with handlebars. <laughs> I'd love to know how it stays cooled from... Oh, Jesus, hi, Mazda. Well, no, it doesn't work. It's air-cooled, dummy. Yeah, it's air-cooled when you're sitting still, there's not exactly moving air to cool it. It has freedom or power in it. I am going at a very fast 72 mile an hour. Hell yeah. This is the bag for people who don't want a black booster. This is all this is all this Peterbilt got. Or a Kwasazaki. 
<laughs> oh my god. Peter built bike. <laughs> Peter built bike! <laughs> this is like a Detroit diesel strap to like the chassis of a pit bike or something. Great. <laughs> Has anyone ever made a diesel motorcycle before? Oh, no. probably, yeah. That's... I never heard of it. There's electric bikes, but no one's like done a super fast one yet, which is a shame. Harley's done one weirdly. Who? Har Harley Davidson have got an electric bike. Don't say that. As you know, Why the not? only reason they've got an electric bike is because like, they started thinking it was 1910 all of a sudden, back when they had like more electric vehicles than gas vehicles. Yeah. Uh, that's probably accurate. New the 1911 model year. <laughs> it's a perfect accomplishment to an M1911 handgun. Yeah, remember, it's got to sound like it's misfiring. <laughs> it's got to sound like what the average engine sounds like after being submerged in this water. This is a Harley Davidson, but if you live in Syria, you won't be shot for driving it. So I don't think it's like an air raid coming or some shit. The electric bike was on sale for free. The, the Jason Statham of the automotive world, Dodge. Now, Dodge is more like the Sylvester Stallone of the automotive world. He just keeps getting like, for like he, his face has looked the same for like 40 years, and he's just aging internally, but he won't accept it. That's Dodge. Yeah, they get a facelift, but they're still I based on 40 year old. I don't back. understand what he says. Yeah, you don't understand what I think. As the years go on. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how he still gets acting jobs up, be honest. Because his name carries weight. Well, yeah, but you just... Much like the real Dodge. He, he looks and acts and talks like he's just having a stroke every time he's at a film. Yep. Suda! That new uh, Rambo film was pretty cool. I really like the bit at the end where like he gets a crossbow and like shoots a guy so he pins him to a wall and then like literally rips his own heart out and like makes him look at it while he dies. Sorry, what? <laughs> that actually happens. I can't I need to go and see that. All because they like killed his stepdaughter or something. Nah, Ironically, quite that's not the mate. most brutal death in the film. What? The most brutal death is the guy who gets a claw hammer to the cock. Oh, I don't want to see that. <laughs> he just, it's I, great. I, he just walks into this, like, brothel with a hammer in hand and just starts, like, brutalizing people with it. Brutalizing? Yeah, it's just like everyone dies in, like, the most graphic way possible. Yeah, I no longer want to see it. Like, shatters a guy's skull, smashes someone's ball bag in with it. Like, slits someone's Quid. throat with a hammer. The head, the head stuff, I don't mind. It's just when it goes... <laughs> that... It, like, bothers me more. Yeah. It, it, it bothers you more when the guy starts screaming. <laughs> and then drops dead. <laughs> uh, a good film. Like, it was a good film film. Don't pay too much attention to it, like. Oh, it's like any Jason Statham movie. It's like my favourite sort of film. The ones where it's best... Actually, no, the Blitz kind of was alright. Until the ending. Did you ever see that one? No. Oh, it was about a guy who was like going around killing cops and he killed like Jason Statham's best friend, so like Jason Statham killed him. Or maybe, I don't know, that describes like half of Jason Statham movies, isn't it? His best friend dies, so he. Also, goes actually. Out. Yes, I do mean Rambo Final Blood. By the way, I just want to point something out. Mm. Uh, do, do you watch many like cop dramas or anything like that? No. No. Alright. No. A trope I've noticed among UK cop dramas, I have no idea why. The protagonists mm. always drive classic BMWs. Huh. Like, there was one not long ago where, like, I can't remember what it was called, but the guy in that drove, like, an E28 5 Series. There's one... It's probably just that easy to get hold of. Yeah, there's one my mother's watching recently where, like, one of the main characters drives an E30 like a 316i and then Jason Statham in the Blitz drives like a 6 series or something and it's really funny because the main baddie drives a Lexus of all things <laughs> like a 90s Lexus LS400 even though it's set in like modern day I think 
What, like Ludicrous? Yeah, no, so Ludicrous has got a legend though. I it? Yeah, I don't remember. Legend. They're all the same, they're just Japanese Luxo boxes. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why Chaser. Genuinely, it's like the mo it's like the weirdest thing. I don't get it. It's just like a trope among like UK cop shows for whatever reason, apart from Ashes to Ashes, which of course had an Audi Quattro in it. Mm. Fire up the Quattro. Which I Remind still me, I still need to watch that. Yeah. 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 I mean, you need to sit down and watch it. Yeah. We need to watch a lot of things in films. That's true. I still need to watch the latest Wack Hollywood film, because I think that's the one with the Wack Hollywood ghetto rally in it. Hmm. Movie, movie, movie! <laughs> Wait, did you ever see Saving Captain Alex? Uh, no, I didn't, but... Ah, uh... uh, you should have done. My favourite bit about that is when Spider-Man beats people with karate. Nice. And then the narrator police to the <laughs> Then the VJ says, what is it, everyone in Kampala knows Kung Fu. Even though apparently that film was shot with like $200, so they do actually know Kung Fu. Have them drive high on Stellars. Maybe that's what they go for, just because like... The problem is, like, you'd think it's old BMWs because, like, they just fade into black because they're all boxes, but, like, they're obviously noticeable because, like, every other character drives a normal car. Well, I think it's because they're sort of... people know BMWs, they're slightly old cars, so they look kind of interesting and classic and whatever to the viewers. Yeah, maybe. But, like, most viewers probably... cult dramas don't really care about cars, so they probably don't, like... No, but it's something recognisable, isn't it? And let's face it, if you want to get, like, extra viewers in, I mean, how many people start watching Ash to Ashes just because of the Quattro? Yeah. I mean, yeah, but the thing is, if you're going for a retro thing, it makes sense, but when you're, like, modern day and there's, like, E30s, because, like, the funny thing with that other, that thing was, like, the main woman character had, like, an E30 316i... But, like, the mm -hmm. main, like, cop guy just had a random, like, newish Mondeo. Well, I think the nice. only notable thing about that Mondeo is it was petrol and had a six-speed manual. Which I assume is weird, weird in the Mondeo world, because I can imagine all of them are diesel. I want to watch people crash in Korean Morris Marinas with Mitsubishi engines. That is a very weird fetish. The first gen Hyundai pony scares you. I, I'm pleased I don't remember what the first gen Hyundai pony looks like. The only thing I remember about Hyundai is they got their start rebadging Fords. So the Stella was a Cortina or something, I think. Which is weird considering I don't think Hyundai ever worked with like American car dealers ever again, to my knowledge. I th actually, the only thing I think Ford ever got back from the Koreans was the fucking Kia Pride, so... Or Festiva. But then again, Japan got something out of that, so... Because Japan got the greatest car ever made out of that. The Ford Festiva Mini Wagon. Which was a Mazda nice. Demi. Which is the best car I've made. All the reliability of Ford, but it's amazing. God, rebadging cars is weird, really isn't it? So. Yeah. There's like so many great ones, it's amazing. Like, even what we're driving was technically rebadged in Australia as a forward laser to replace the previous Ford Laser, which was, like, the ugliest car ever made. I'm oh, sorry, it was an Aspire. Wait, was it an Aspire? I think it was the Aspire Australia got. And then, like, they did their own facelift, and it looked weird, and they called it a Laser. And then this went over there and became the Laser, because Mazda and Ford. Or well, Ford and Mazda, sorry. I wish Mazda and Ford, that'd be great. New Ford Focus, now with rotary power. Blah! <laughs> Could you imagine a world where more things were rotary? Rotary engines on your Ford. 
Rotary engines new for the fourth Monday of funeral car. <laughs> Shot <Shots> all. <laughs> It'd be like that TDI advert Tom Kim made. Yeah, they said like uh, the thing, just the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> That'd make quite a good one for the Impreza, actually. Just have one of those just constant blow-off valves. And... Oh, dude. Subaru Legacy, like, fucking coffin car. But it has, like, a EJ20 with, like, straight pipes in it. So it's just sat there just going... The guy has the air conditioning on, so it does that weird super thing where it makes the engine oh, right. rev to like two grand occasionally. So it's just sat there at the funeral service, just like blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's just there bored, so he starts wiggling the power steering, and it's slightly like. <laughs> What's the most inappropriate, like, curse? James May's Lotus Elise camper van, or a um, van, or whatever it was. The Excel or Elite, or what? Yeah, I don't know. It's one of those weird Lotuses no one cares about anymore. Mm hmm. James, uh, fucking Clarkson's Maserati Bora. <laughs> the one that, like, what was his line? Exploded. I was rather hoping to end up in a different sort of hedge, but there you go. <laughs> I just think he was married back then. <laughs> And now he isn't. Wait, isn't he? Oh. No, his wife left him and his mum died, so that's why he went a bit mental on top of him, at least that's what he said. Voxel Agelia Hearst. Yeah, they found by the Viper. Hello. Are you joining us just as soon as we're done with our absolutely hideous ground effects Mazda Familia, which kind of looks like a Voxel Astra, but we'll try not to note that one too much. Gone, 4000 XP. Yeah! Level 9, 55,000 credits from Mazda. Rotary engines in the Crown Vic IRL, hell yeah. Uh, I think this car came out after the Astra, so... Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Next time we're going to be taking a look at the Mazda Speed Showcase. So join us for that. Until then, farewell. Dreams are going I'll only be Caught up in a wall that you are not part of Eyes on the slit of your fire